Brunei's stock exchange is scheduled to open later this year, sparking renewed international interest in the small but wealthy island nation. The initiative should help the government's ongoing efforts to diversify the economy. Joining me is Baiduri Bank's Pierre Imov. How are the diversification efforts going? The diversification process for the last two years, with the change in oil and gas prices, has become an absolute priority. So the government has intensified their effort uh, for diversification and banks are playing a major role in this process, mainly targeting uh, SMEs and secondly, uh, the foreign direct investments. These initiatives are an absolute priority within the Wawasan 35, which is their government long-term development plan to create uh, uh, a nation uh, which is healthy and financially sustainable. How is Baiduri Bank playing a role in that? We are very eager uh, to finance the short-term needs of companies. We are also very eager to finance some of their long-term needs, to develop uh, their uh, business, to finance a new project, etc. We know our clients well, the relationship is very personalized, we understand their needs, we are able to propose solutions which correspond to their needs. For example, for very small enterprises, we have launched a product called Merchant Suite, which is offering to our small clients the possibility to transact online, to receive payments online, without having to create their own website. Attracting foreign direct investment, another important role that banks need to play in the diversification efforts. How are you achieving that? The whole banking system in Brunei is very strong, and Baiduri Bank is no exception. Baiduri Bank has a very strong capital, and this definitely assures foreign direct investors when they come that they will find in Brunei a bank which is able to support them, a range of services which is of good quality and in which they may put their confidence. Another element is banking with the highest level of security is very important for all clients. Baiduri Bank has been the first bank in Brunei to have developed PCI DSS standard, which is a very high level of security uh, for protecting data. You mentioned the trend towards digital services earlier. What other kinds of additional services are businesses, whether homegrown or coming from overseas, demanding from banks? We see, as I mentioned, more demand from companies to make their transactions, their transfers uh, through internet banking. When they have retail clients, they like to offer services online and banks behind the scene uh, are offering the technology to allow these companies to process their payments online. What I think we'll see more and more is development of new methods of payments and we are working uh, uh, in order to uh, offer uh, in the future to our clients these new methods of payment. And what are the latest trends in the retail banking environment in Brunei? The Brunei retail market is, uh, for banks, quite sophisticated. Bruneians are wealthy, they travel, they know what's happening all around the world, so we have to be always very advanced in terms of our uh, uh, offer of uh, products in, uh, in the retail segment. We are the first bank many years ago uh, to offer internet banking services and mobile banking is an area where uh, we, we move fast and uh, where we are developing strongly our presence. And in Brunei we have been also the first bank to launch PayWave, uh, this new technology. Our clients like to tap, pay and go. These are uh, technologies that we are using more and more in, uh, in Brunei for our retail clients. Pierre, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click through to the next video to hear what Brunei's new stock exchange means for the future of its economy. Go to worldfinance.com for more on the evolution of Brunei's financial services and for more international banking stories, as well as all the other latest insights from World Finance, please subscribe.